welcome back to medical class today we shall learn about neural crest cells now what are neural crest cells these are the group of cells that are seen only in vertebrates and from where do they originate they originate from embryonic ectoderm now what is embryonic ectoderm let's learn about it in detail this is an embryo this structure is the amniotic cavity and this is secondary yolk sac in between these two structures there are three germ layers the ectoderm the mesoderm and the endoderm these are the three germ layers the endoderm is the innermost layer it forms the lining of the gut and other internal organs this is the mesoderm the middle germ layer this forms the muscles skeletal system and circulatory system this is the ectoderm the most exterior germ layer this forms the skin brain nervous system and other external tissues now there's a notochord present in the mesoderm secretions from the notochord go into the ectoderm there is accumulation of these secretions in the ectoderm forming the neuroectoderm this later thickens and flattens to form the neural plate let's go through the process again how is the neural plate formed there are secretions from the notochord the secretions go into the ectoderm ectoderm starts to thicken that forms the neuroectoderm and the neural plate now let's learn something about neurulation this is the neural plate this is the neural plate border and this is the ectoderm after gastrulation neural crest cells are specified to the border of the neural plate and ectoderm now what is gastrulation after fertilization an embryo is formed this embryo forms a blastula which contains a single layer of cells after this it is converted into gastrula which is multiple layer of cells this process is known as gastrulation there is conversion seen here and a neural groove is formed the neural plate comes close to each other so that it can form the neural tube neural crest cells lie along the dorsolateral sides of the neural tube neural plate closes to form a neural tube there is a separation of neural tube and the surface ectoderm the neural crest cells are released and these cells migrate throughout the body why are the neural crest cells so important these cells are important in the formation of chondroblasts that form the cartilage neurons that form the brain cells melanocytes that form the skin smooth muscles like the muscles in heart and osteoblasts that form the bone Now let's summarize what all we learned today. There are three germ layers: ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Neural tube is formed when notochord secretion go to the ectoderm and form neuroectoderm and later neural plate. Neurulation is the process in which neural plate converts into neural tube and separates from the surface ectoderm, which then releases neural crest cells. Neural crest cells are important in formation of cartilage, bone. skin cells smooth muscles and neurons you can find the link to google form which has mcqs related to this topic you can attempt those mcqs and find out how much you learnt about the topic thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it and if you do please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding new videos see you in the next video till then stay healthy and have an amazing week